Okay guys, we just talked about the watch window and before that we talked about the locals window. Both of those are ways <laughs> where you can look into your computer's memory and see the value inside of variables. So it's very cool. Uh, now we're going to sort of combine the locals window with you know you being able to stop the code whenever you want so how do we do that so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this watch window and I'm gonna bring up the locals window and the locals window is good to have up when you're coding and we're gonna talk about breakpoints now and a breakpoint allows you to stop your code at a certain line so before if we wanted to stop the code we, we would set up a, a watch on this variable. Sorry for moving the for moving that. Uh, we would set up a watch on this variable and it would stop at this line here. But what if we want to stop it at this line up here or this line down here or this line down here? You can add things called breakpoints to your code. So what is a breakpoint? All a breakpoint is is you go over here to the gray column in the code window this is the code window and you just left click it and you get this red dot and, and a red line pop up and all that means is when you run this code it's gonna stop at that line so if I run it by clicking F5 if I run this macro the code stops and because I have my locals window open I could see the values of all the variables so the main main thing about breakpoints is they allow you to stop the code. And another cool thing about breakpoints is you could put breakpoints anywhere. Uh, multiple you could have multiple breakpoints. So I could put breakpoints at each one of these lines. And then if I press F5 again to to run it again, you know, I just press F5 and it ran this line. So now there's 8 being assigned to my first variable. I put a breakpoint so it stopped at that line. Now if I press F5 again, it just ran it again. So it ran that line. And now 80 was assigned. And you could even put a breakpoint down here on the end sub. So if I press F5 again, now you could see you could stop the code at the very, very end of your macro. And you'll see all your variables at the very end. So there's 8, 80, and 6,000 all assigned to my variables. To remove breakpoints, you just uh, left click and get rid of the circle. Just left click on the circle. So that's all breakpoints are. Um, you can, so I'll just finish this by clicking run. You can put, it doesn't allow you to put breakpoints on, on declaring the variables up here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all breakpoints are. They, they allow you to stop the code at a certain line. And they're very, very useful when you're debugging. Or if you're just getting started now coding, just put some breakpoints in and pull up the locals window and then see what the value of your variables are. That's just when you're starting out, it's a good way to get a feel for how this how VBA is working. You know, you're assigning ver numbers or values into variables on your computer's memory. So when I put a breakpoint here and I press F5. You know, I'm assigning these numbers into these variables. And then if I click F5 again, it's going to start running again. And now, because it hit the end sub line, you know, the variables are gone from your computer's memory. So that's uh, breakpoints. Uh, what we just did in the last few videos with these watch windows and locals window, the locals window here and the watch window here, and then breakpoints. Using all three of those, the breakpoints, the locals, and the watch window, now you're ready to do some real coding because now you can you can write variables. You can write 10 different types of variables. Um, you can see what's in the memory on your computer. You can stop the code whenever you want, wherever you want. You can add watches. So now you're ready to start writing uh, some pretty cool code. And... Uh, we're going to get into that over the next few videos. In the next video, we're going to talk about the lifetime of your variables. And it's it's a interesting video. Um, and I'll start that in just a second.